in, start the mix in Alright guys, this is Roger123 here, bringing you some gameplay commentary with the Executioner and the M1216. I was playing Search and Destroy on Express with the Executioner and it ended up going 12 for 4, I think it was. So a pretty good score, considering the, what I was using. And uh, go a similar score with the M1216 on Hijacked. I started using the Executioner and the M1216 because I was getting pretty bored of Black Ops 2, you know, as you do. So I thought I'd switch it up a bit and try out guns that I don't usually try. And I never thought much of the Executioner because it has, like, pretty crap range and you have to absolutely spray people to kill people with it. So I thought I'd give it a go. And also with the M1216 as well, the abysmal range and always getting outgunned by someone with a Remington kind of put me off playing with it. But as I started playing with them and started fiddling about with the classes and stuff, I found them to be very good rush weapons on Search and Destroy if you, if you use them properly. The way I use both of them pretty much is run straight into where the enemies are going to commute as it was and just try and take out as many as possible and keep on the move and just keep blasting them from very close range seems so though that's where you have to hit them very close and both of the guns uh, you can shoot them very fast so if you keep keeping close quarters combat and avoid open spaces and keep in confined spaces then you should do fine with them when I'm using the executioner for the attachments I go long barrel and tack knife Long barrel, obviously, so you can increase the range at which the executioner can mow down people. But you don't really want to keep them at a range still. It's good to know that you can kill people from medium distance, I'd say, if you get caught out in the open, which you, sh you shouldn't do anyway. But And the tack knife for when, you, when you, you've sprayed your ammo and you need to switch to your knife, you can just tack knife them instead, since so you can... Attack knife the quickest with the executioner, useful tip. And you can either go with a tactical or a lethal. I usually go with the combat axe, just so I can get off, pop off one little shot if I'm at a distance. In the M1216, I go with primary gunfighter, and for the attachments, I use long barrel to increase the range at which I can shoot at people, just in case I get caught out in the open, just like with the executioner. Fast mag, so I can do a quick reload, because you'll burn through the ammo with the M1216 pretty easily. And quick draw handle, just so I can have that little bit of extra quicker aiming, since you're going to be getting into the thick of it pretty quickly, so you need to aim very quickly. The perks will be pretty much the same for both weapons. Since they're both are very similar to each other, lightweight to must, since you need to get to the very first engagements dead quickly. And you can't do that if you're not running quick enough. Toughness for when you get if you're getting shot at, you'll flinch less, so you'll be able to counter attack more efficiently. And dexterity and extreme conditioning. Dexterity so you can aim quicker and so you can climb up places quicker. Since it is a rush class and a lot of the maps you will need to climb over or up things. And extreme conditioning so you can run quicker so you can get to that, get to that first engagement a lot quicker. And there you have it, two very underrated weapons in my opinion. Seeing as though they're both shotgun type weapons, they get overshadowed by the Remington a lot. Since though with the Remington it is very, very, very easy to use. Any person can pick up a Remington with long barrel and own anybody really. In close quarters combat it's pretty much unmatched. But with these weapons you need to get the drop on people so you can take them out. And I think people in, in Black Ops 2 now, they don't give themselves a challenge as often as they did in other CODs, I don't think. And people just choose to use the, the easier guns, in my opinion, since I see Remingtons in every game I go in, pretty much. So yeah, it's just a, a little thing to think about when you're playing, try and give yourself a challenge now and again. This has been Ravager123, I'll see you later. Oh, 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 oh,